on the line. Uh, Victoria Gray from the Turtle Island News. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning. Okay, uh, that's all I see on the line uh, for media. Uh, that'll uh, look to then, are there any changes or additions or deletions to the agenda? Sorry, I just wanted to confirm. I think Helen, you had wanted, um, uh, so I think it was just something along the lines of child and family services. Is that for the open agenda? Is that what you wanted? Just want to make sure that oh. was added. No, I could put it on here, no matter, but I was going to do it open. I mean, in camera. Okay, matter. that's fine. Sorry. I just wanted to confirm uh, that your agenda item oh, uh, got okay. on the agenda. Uh, Wendy? Thanks, Mark. Do we, um, do we need to discuss that uh, doing an education meeting or is that something that can just happen? I think that's something that could just happen. Actually, I wanted to touch base with you on that uh, offline as okay. well, because there's already, a, okay. I, I had sent a text message that things can, uh, things are already in motion. So I just wanted to update you. Okay. Okay, uh, seeing or hearing none then, can I uh, look to a uh, motion mover and seconder to adopt the political liaison agenda uh, for uh, January 24th? I'll move on that. Moved by Carrie, seconder. Second by Michelle. Any further questions or comments? Okay, seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Any opposed? Seeing or hearing that motion is carried. I'll look to then, uh, uh, we'll declare conflicts as we move uh, through the agenda and discussion. We have uh, no delegations uh, scheduled for this particular meeting. Um, so that will lead us into the adoption of the political eyes on minutes of November 22nd. I'll move, Sherilyn. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks for that, Sherry Lynn. It's moved by Sherry Lynn. Is there a seconder? A second. Second by Nathan. Thank you for that. Are there any further questions or comments? Okay, seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Any opposed? Seeing or hearing on motion is carried. Uh, the lifelong learning task force update is in the Dropbox. I'll maybe just uh, pause there uh, to see if there's any questions or comments in relation to that update. Again, it's just more for uh, FYI, but we'll still have further information as well for um, uh, for the other education uh, discussion. Okay, the next piece then uh, is also within your Dropbox, uh, which is the activities report uh, for the consultation and accommodation team. And again, it has information. So there's a recommendation for this item. Uh, so looking for a mover and seconder, or if there's any questions or comments in relation to that activity report. Mark, I have one question about the lifelong learning. Oh, sorry, my apologies. Go, uh, go for it, Helen. I just wondered if, do we know when this is going to be completed? Like, like it's been going on now for how long? Yeah, so they, they had presented <laughs> last. When is it yeah. going to be done? Sorry, I uh, just wanted to, uh, I know we, um, Heather, uh, the, the lifelong learning manager had reported on that piece. I think it was extended, uh, the mandate, uh, I wanna say to the to early spring, I don't know the exact date. I'm not sure if Audrey's on the line to confirm, but it, there was an extension to that for their, uh, for their work to be completed. All right. 
Okay, is there any other questions in relation uh, to either the uh, lifelong learning or the CAP activity report? Uh, questions, comments, Wendy? So uh, on the CAP, like I, I'm not in favor of that because when I read the briefing note, um, I mean, we've been talking about this so much. The briefing note says that CAP has the ability to negotiate to obtain accommodations. And we've been discussing this and we said they don't. They have authorization to enter into discussions and report back to council. This briefing note and the next steps says something different. And when I read the email, I'm unsure of, are they moving ahead and negotiating on the property and with Madame, I don't understand what that's saying, but for sure the briefing note, um, how can we do that? Because if we approve this and, and the report, we're saying that they've got full authority to do as they please on negotiations. And the last point is when I read the report, it tells me nothing. It, it does not enlighten me as to what the status is and what's going on. You know, Lake Erie Connector Project, update on status project. What update? Like if you go through all of these pieces, City of Brantford, update on projects, discussion how to move forward with developers. That doesn't tell me anything. Like this is, this is all, this is land, this is everything. And we have no information whatsoever. At least I don't. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Wendy, for your raising the, those concerns. I, and the whole purpose really behind this activity report was to say um, or to, to give updates on who we're in discussions with and what, like you say, what the status of those discussions are. Um, so I think, again, we still have uh, further uh, meetings scheduled for this uh, particular process for the question that you raised in terms of the authority piece. As we know, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, uh, the the process is that we have to make a recommendation or resolution to whichever um, negotiations that are are taking place. So I do agree with you. I think it, it still needs to. Um, oh, sorry, whoever is phone number seven one seven twenty five sixty five. Can we just have them muted? Can we just have them muted? Okay, perfect. Thank you for that. Um, and so getting back to then. Uh, we need to have further discussion with council in terms of really just the direction. The purpose of this report was so that we can still stay updated as to who we're in discussions with and what the status of it is. So maybe perhaps if I can uh, just touch base with Lonnie uh, and his team, but going back to your point, uh, Wendy, in relation to the author authoritative piece, uh, I think that's where I, we need to have more conversation uh, with council, full council, on that piece, but we did agree to what you're saying. So that's without passing this report, uh, you know, we'll, we'll maybe have to hold on this item for now uh, until we can have further uh, discussion on that piece. But just wanted to check in with Lonnie on, on that item and perhaps maybe even with the team so that we can include more information on these activity reports as to what is the status of each. Because you're right, there is not much information when it comes to the activity of some of these items. Yeah, Chief, I can just, Chief, sorry, over to you, Lonnie. I can just add, yeah, we're under no illusions. We can't, uh, we can't negotiate any final agreements. Uh, and so, you know, that always had to be brought, brought back to council. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've been presenting these activity reports now for three or four months. Uh, and uh, it's just information on uh, bringing the uh, council up to date on what, who we're talking to and what we're talking about. Uh, so uh, if you wanted uh, uh, more uh, information on uh, what's, what the status is as far as uh, uh, reaching any kind of conclusion, yes, we can put that in there uh, to update uh, council more on that. Sure, no problem. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks for that, Lonnie. I think it's even a, uh, maybe even a step further as well to those pieces in terms of, you know, who uh, is reaching out as well, 
who isn't. I know we're having issues uh, with some of the, uh, you know, a couple of the surrounding municipalities. I think those pieces also uh, need to be uh, included uh, within this activity report as well. Uh, I see Wendy has her hand raised. Wendy? Yeah, thanks. And, and I appreciate your explanation, Lonnie, but the briefing note doesn't match what you just said. The briefing note actually in the next step says that pretty much you do have the authority to obtain accommodations. It doesn't say to make recommendations or anything like that. So that, and you're a lawyer, so you know that language is very important. So that's where I'm coming from. Okay. And I, I would like to see more information in terms of the status, even a timeline. Like, you know, if, if we've been working on something for three years or if, you know, just where it is in the movement, because just using the example about city of Brantford update on projects, and then the email that follows says, you know, it's in a completely different stage. So, you know, and these are political items that we should have on the table here at council and discussing in terms of the direction. Okay, no problem. Can do that. Definitely. We can do that. Uh, and for now, maybe what we can do is in terms of the recommendation, just hold off uh, for now on this recommendation. Uh, and we'll look to the next political liaison to see those necessary changes and the further uh, on passing this resolution. Yeah. So if that's okay with council, we could just defer the recommendation at this time uh, and have the notes taken uh, for the CAP team on some of the items to be included in the next activity report. Is that okay with council? Is there any opposition to deferring this item for now? Okay, seeing or hearing none, uh, we'll, we will look to the next, uh, the next activity report with those detailed changes in added information. Um, moving on then to the next item on the agenda, which is number eight, uh, which is in relation to the egg mass surveys needed. Uh, there is a recommendation on uh, the agenda uh, to accept as information uh, that the Six Nations Wildlife and Stewardship, Stewardship Office to sign a contract with Lamend uh, Bioforest uh, to work with the Six Nations staff to conduct egg mass surveys within Six Nations territory at a cost of approximately $15,600. Is there a mover and seconder to that recommendation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm I do have a discussion or a question. Oh, sorry. I'll look to uh, just a mover and seconder, and then we'll just look to questions and comments. I seen Michelle. Did you have a question or comment, or were you willing to move I or have second? A question. Okay. Sorry. Is there a, is there a mover and seconder first? I'll move the Hazel. Moved by Hazel. Is there a seconder? Seconder I'll, I'll to the I'll second with a question. Okay. Second by Carrie with a question. Uh, so I'll start with Carrie, then over to Wendy, and then over to Michelle. Carrie, you have the floor. Okay, on it, I don't know if there was a briefing note or not, but this um, the egg mass is that those gypsy worms? I can't. I'm not too sure on the name of it, but is this for those the gyp, gypsy worms? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is, Carrie. That's what that's for. The carry on to just see how. Uh, how bad the infestation is going to be this year, if at all, so that, you know, down the road, whether, uh, you know, council is gonna need to have uh, more spraying done. So, so this is just an early indication. So we know how bad the uh, problem could be. Yeah, was there, was there maps that uh, showed the infestation in the, um, like in July of, of uh, trees? I I think there was. I think there was indication showing that it 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 could be a problem again. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we just want to make sure that uh, if there is, and we're 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 aware of it early. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that explanation. Uh, next question or comment uh, over to Wendy. Uh, thanks. And so I was, I was just thrown off by it because it says ECG is recommending it, and I was wondering why. It's coming from ECG, or sorry, maybe I'm reading it wrong, or it's egg mass, sorry, egg mass surveys. So do we, we don't need quotes on this or anything like that? Like it's just a one, do we get one person and select them? There's no process that we have to follow for it. 
And just in terms of terminology, is when I think of survey, I think of a survey of a paper document. Is that what this is? Or I, when I read the briefing note, I, I kind of get the feeling that it's actually going out and, you know, like in person looking at trees or looking at sections of, of the community and finding the egg mass. So I'm just not sure what it is. I mean, yeah, I certainly see the need for it, but. That's exactly what it is. It's going out into the field and, and looking at particular areas to see how bad it is if it is bad at all. So, uh, uh, and uh, uh, Bethany uh, uh, Wakefield has been, you know, behind this. She's not, unfortunately, she's not here today, but uh, uh, she has been uh, talking. It's very hard to find anybody who's, uh, who's willing to, to do this work here. Uh, I know she's been working in conjunction with Guyana say on this, uh, and uh, that'll probably be the procedure they go through with the, the expert when they go and look at the uh, sites again uh, in the springtime. So, uh, uh, yeah, so it, uh, uh, so, so, so my only comment on it is, should we be saying, is it an egg mass inspection and, yeah, that, and, that, and report if we change the language to what it is? And if we've done a, a sole source, and I guess I'll look to Darren or Anna Cecile on, on policy, um, if we're within policy to just do a, a one, one quote because of the amount, then let's put that in the, the motion or a whereas, or if this is an, a, an exception to the policy where we're just doing a one quote, then let's put that in there as well. So it's clear on what we're passing. Mark, it's Hazel. Thanks. Thank you for uh, thank you for that, uh, Wendy. So just going back to her uh, suggestions, uh, want to maybe check in, uh, Lonnie uh, or sorry, uh, Darren, uh, in terms of the uh, quotes. Uh, yeah. Um, the question is uh, the amount and whether we need uh, quotes. I think uh, fifteen thousand. And Anna Cecile is on a call as well, so maybe she can clarify in terms of whether we need quotations, but um, I believe the amount is small enough that we can do a sole source on this, so we should probably amend it because of the limited expertise in this area. Uh, and it was really just brought forward for information uh, because typically we would just do this um, under, our, under our authority on the, on the admin side, but it's important that the community is aware that this is gonna be happening. Anna Cecile, can you just clarify on the amount? Yes. Um... So normally we ask for quotes over, not quotes, but you know, just um, a request for over 5,000, but if it's specialized uh, service that we know that we're, it's gonna be difficult to get quotes, we can just put it as a single um, source. And again, as Darren says, the amount is very small. Um, so it will be you know, enough to know that, that there's no other services that can be provided for the supplier. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks for that, Darren and Anna Cecile. So that can I just look to then make that just those uh, amendments to the resolution, uh, just specifically saying uh, what what was just laid out. Sorry, Wendy, do you have a follow up to those? I I do, and because this is somebody's coming in from external into the territory and doing these inspections, do you want just as an information or do you want a motion so that there's there's no issue so that approval is is there for them to do that down the road. And I, I, I'm fine with the amount and only needing one quote, but it just wasn't contained in the briefing note. So I wasn't sure what that process was. That's all. But I think changing it to mass inspections instead of surveys, because it sends a wrong message. Mark, it's Definitely. Hazel. I agree. I hear you, Hazel. Sorry, I have a speaking list. I have Michelle up next, but just to go back to, to Wendy's comments in terms of that. So Teresa, really quickly, if I can, uh, look to the mover and seconder if that's okay with the terminology change, word change on that piece on this resolution, uh, as well as again uh, looking to the as information piece. So this is for communities information, but again on the admin side, uh, this is taken care of. So wanted to bring it forward in that vein. Uh, so just looking to the mover and seconder really quickly, if I can, if that's okay to amend those changes to the resolution. Mover, yep, Hazel, fine with the Harry. But 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 the egg mass, it's 
they just go out to in, inspect and do egg mass count on on the trees that mostly the hardwoods. It's just the egg mass count. That's all. To see what right. infestation was. That's exactly it. Thanks for that, Carrie. Just want to check in again with the the mover, Hazel. If that's okay with those amendments. Sorry, Hazel. Can you hear us? Okay. Yeah. Yes, that's okay. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, okay, going back to the the uh, question and comment list, I have Michelle and Q next. Michelle, you have okay. the floor. So just for consistency in the recommendation, we should be out, um, detailing where the funds are coming from because in the current status, it says there is no funding, but will be paid through wildlife. And I just want a correction because it seems inconsistent. Six Nations Wildlife Office and then in... The current status next steps they've in, added stewardship office so have we renamed that office just clarification on that one so one where the funds are coming from and two just clarity on that okay Name of thanks for that, Michelle. so for the first one uh anna cecile sorry i see you have your hand raised if you could speak to that item and or even uh lonnie or any other staff that could speak to where the source of funds are coming from. Sorry, I'll just pause there, Anna Cecile. Yeah, so the so there was no specific budget for this activity at the beginning of the year. However, the um, monitoring services for the this department has grown up exponentially. So those uh, it can be used from the man, the money from this department that have been generated as own source. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks for that, Anna Cecile. So, so we'll Still add where the funds are coming from. I mean, we do it for every other committee. We should do it for right. this recommendation. Yeah, agreed. And thanks for that, Michelle. It's just for those again, those are consistency purposes. Uh, in relation to uh, the uh, just the name again for the consistency, the Six Nations Wildlife and Stewardship Office. Just want to have uh, again uh, a confirmation on that name. So, if I can look to Lonnie or sorry. Taylor, just to make sure again that we're consistent with the name. Yeah, it should be wildlife and stewardship for both. Okay, perfect. Thanks for that, uh, Taylor. So if that, if we can have those again uh, consistent throughout the briefings and so forth. A follow up question, Michelle. I just want to ask Darren when that changed. Sorry, if I could check in with Darren. It actually was changed just before Christmas. Um, I believe it was some conversation at the Environment Task Force regarding that change. It wasn't made official. We should probably make it official. Thanks, <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, thanks for that. And we can all obviously bring that back as well uh, in terms of the, that change as well. Thanks, Michelle. Uh, Hazel. Yeah, I just want to clarify with Lonnie. Is that those, uh, they look like uh, bags of things hanging from the trees. Is that that egg mass? Is that what those are? No, I think those are actually a, a different kind of uh, moths that we see all the time, but it's not the gypsy moths. Oh, no. Okay. No, no. I, I really don't know what they, what they look like, uh, the, uh, the egg mass, or, or even where, the, where you find them on the trees. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> You know, unless I, uh, you know, start climbing trees, but I'm too old to do that anymore. Um, Chief. Yeah, sorry. Uh, over to you. Oh, sorry, Hazel. Were you finished uh, your questions or comments? Yeah, I just wanted to ask Lonnie that, that question. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks, Hazel. Thanks, Lonnie. Uh, over to you, Carrie. Yeah, the the egg mass are, is is right against the trunk of the tree or in the the crotch of the branches. They usually start, I don't know, right at the very bottom and work their way up probably 15 to 20 feet. You can easily see them. They're kind of like a real pale yellow color. It's just, it's just eggs inside of a, almost like a cocoon type of film over top of it. And they're kind of a, like a pale, like I said, a pale yellow color. And that's how you can tell they're, how the infestation was in the spring and how it's going to be that year or this year. 
Perfect. Thanks. Uh, thanks for that uh, explanation and description. Uh, Kiri, is there any further questions or comments in relation to the motion? So we have, again, the amendments to that uh, motion, uh, as well uh, with the inclusion of the source of funds and the consistency of the name change. I see Sherry Lynn has her hand raised. So if the name hasn't changed, then shouldn't it go back just to Six Nations Wildlife Office if it hasn't been approved? Yeah, I think that's, I, I think in terms of process wise, yes, we would and love I think to. Also, uh, I, think, I think also too, I'm sitting here reading Bethany's title, Wildlife and Stewardship Manager. So uh, it should go back, she should go back to the, to what it was called before until we approve it, just to make it right. proper. Thanks. Chief, I could, Chief, I could just add up to that. Uh, we had we had a briefing last last year to do, to let council know all that that, that we're going to change the name, and uh, but the duties weren't being changed. That was that was important. So when we brought it to the uh, you know to to SAO and, and others, they said, well, it, it's okay that as long as the duties are not being changed, the name can be changed uh, to reflect more about what you're actually doing. Uh, but uh, her duties remain the same and her assistant, she, she also has an assistant now, their duties remain the same under the job description. So nothing really has fundamentally changed. It's like just the name of the department or the, uh, yeah, name of that, uh, that office has changed, that's all. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks for that, Lonnie. Uh, Sherry Lynn? Okay, so, so that was a while ago that was done? Yeah, that was in November, was, November, um, I think. Sorry. Not very, not very long ago. Not very long ago. No. Well, okay. I'm not sure how other counselors feel or if they remember also. Okay. Thank Thanks, uh, Shirley, for bringing this forward. Uh, so what we'll do again, uh, just for now, uh, as you heard, the duties haven't changed uh, necessarily for, for the positions itself. I don't think it's a, it's a huge issue in terms of the name, it's a title. Uh, we will look to the proper process to get that change through within council. So for now, for this motion, in relation to the egg mass inspections that's needed, uh, we will maintain the original name that it was until it's officially approved through council just to follow process. So if we can make those necessary changes to the motion, uh, and then we'll bring this back, this item, in terms of the titles, the name change, and get that formally approved within council for the next meeting. Is there any further questions or comments? Okay, seeing or hearing none, uh, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor? Any opposed? Uh, seeing or hearing none motion is carried. Uh, we'll just, we'll wait on second reading on, mo on moving that again, uh, just so that we can uh, look to the changes that were made on this piece. So moving into the next item, uh, which is the water number nine on the agenda, which is the water main extension uh, on Adaga Road between fourth and fifth line project, uh, the water service extension to the property line. There is a recommendation on the agenda. We also have, I believe, our director of public works, uh, Michael Montour on the line uh, to assist with any questions or comments in relation uh, to the recommendation. Sorry, looking to uh, mover and seconder on the recommendation. I see Wendy has her hand up, but it's, uh, I'm assuming it's for a question or comment. Uh, no, actually I'll move it with one small change. <laughs> okay, that's great. Over to you, Wendy. Uh, do you need the seconder first or just, I'll give you the change. So at the, uh, in the sorry, there for, okay. In the therefore, the second to the last sentence where it ends section of water main, can we add and to relieve six, six Nations elected council of any liability risks associated with Avertex warranty conditions? Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Wendy, for, for that change. Uh, Teresa, if you can make that, that necessary change and looking to a seconder with that change. I'll move, we'll 
Okay, second by, uh, we'll give it to Mel by this time. Thanks, uh, Carrie, I heard you as well. So it's moved by Wendy with that, that one change in the therefore section and seconded by Melba. I'll now open up for any further questions or comments. Sorry, I'm just scrolling through my screen here. Any further questions or comments, Council? Oh, I see. Uh, I see Helen. I, I'm not sure. Helen, did you, did you have a question or comment? I, I can I can see you talking, but I can't hear you. Sorry, I'll just wait uh, really quickly again and check in with Helen. I think she might be experiencing some technical issues. Sorry, Helen, can you hear us okay? Oh, still having issues. Uh, maybe perhaps Helen, if you can, maybe use the uh, the chat box. I'm not sure we we can't we could hear you talking, but we can't we can see your lips moving, but we can't hear you. <laughs> well, it's connecting to audio now. Sorry, Council. Uh, Chief. Yeah, I'll I'll go over. Sorry, Helen. We'll try to get back to you for any questions or comments. Uh, I'll, for now, I'll head over to Kerry. Yeah, so this, uh, all these, the water line will be brought to the property lines of all the existing houses. What would we do in the case of, of a person that's going to bill after the line is in, maybe the year after? Would we uh, cover that or would that be their, their cost? Okay, sorry, just uh, looking over to our director, uh, Public Works, uh, Mike. So that would be something that we would be looking at through our water service connections program. Um, I know that we have different, uh, the, strat the strategic document's been approved, so it'd be something that we'd be looking to, to fund through that. Um, if that person would um, qualify. So that, that's how that would go. As far as the warranty goes, um, if like if somebody built newly during the warranty period, we'd have to, they'd have to look at bringing that in um, through Avertex to the property line. Um, and we can definitely help facilitate that. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that, Mike. Are there any further questions or comments? Sorry, I do recognize uh, Helen as having some issues. She had mentioned in the chat as well as thank you, Wendy, for the, the uh, amended word changes. Are there any further questions or comments? It's been moved and seconded. Okay, seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Favor. Any opposed? Okay, seeing or hearing a motion is carried. A uh, motion to waive second reading. Moved by Wendy, seconder. I'll, I'll second. Mamba. Uh, seconded by Kerry. All in favor? Any opposed? Seeing or hearing a motion is carried. Okay, thank you for that, uh, council and staff as well. Uh, moving on to the next item. Sorry, I just want to confirm, is Jill, is Jill Hill on the line? Not sure if Jill is with us this morning. Okay, sorry, I don't see her on the line. Okay, so Teresa, if we can, uh, I think th this is the last item on the open uh, agenda, which is just the political updates. So I'll be just doing that verbally so you can take the share screen down now. Thank you for, for doing that. 
Okay, Council, so just really quickly, again, the verbal uh, update that I have under the political update. So the one, the first and foremost is just the update in terms of how our meeting went prior to uh, the holidays uh, with Minister Haidu. Uh, so again, we're continuing to push and pressure uh, on uh, the support for Galaneo School. We had the opportunity again to have a, a thorough discussion with Minister Haidu on how we can uh, you know, move more quickly uh, in, in seeing an actual uh, school built for Gawaneo. So we've obviously recognized the important pieces of those. Um, and so we had a good conversation and she had suggested some of the pieces in terms of the application, because again, it was, uh, they, are at, um, they are at their capacity for that list of schools. Uh, however, there is different streams under different ministries. So they had requested uh, to maybe, uh, you know, put that forward to Gawaneo on some of those changes uh, that, that could be changed to their application uh, when it, it's brought forward. Uh, so we're looking to, I, I believe it's the Ministry of Heritage as well that they had uh, funding for, uh, you know, different, looking to have different pots to try to achieve, uh, you know, the getting Gawaneo a school built. So we had a good conversation there. Uh, we also talked a little bit uh, on uh, the cannabis file as well in, in the uh, Health Canada items. Uh, so we'll continue to put some, provide some update there. Uh, Minister Haidu did uh, suggest again uh, to uh, reach out to uh, Minister Carolyn Bennett in her new role uh, within the Ministry of Health uh, as well. Again, we're trying to, um, to continue. Uh, she wanted to further have, we ran out a little bit of time as I think we had about 45 minutes with her. Uh, but again, we do have already meetings in the works uh, right now for follow-up pieces. The other item that we brought up with her to at least start the discussion it was in relation to the excise taxes uh, and trying to get uh, you know creative solutions to uh, those pieces. Uh, so again, we'll have a full, more fulsome update uh, from Christopher and I on those pieces uh, for uh, the meeting with Minister Haidu. Again, we will have a follow-up meeting with her office on some of these items as well. Uh, and, and further, again, uh, some of the priorities uh, of council. So I'll be bringing this item back just to make sure that we're all on the same page with those priorities. Uh, and so uh, looking to further uh, finish uh, those, uh, those scheduling of those meetings. The other meeting that we have uh, in the works is again, it was brought up with the Attorney General's office as uh, Sherry Lynn uh, most recently uh, sent out the, uh, the other email with uh, the uh, task force, uh, the issues there and how we are observer status uh, on that piece or on the, at that table rather. Uh, and so looking to continue, or looking to finalize and schedule that meeting uh, with the attorney general's office. I did again have an opportunity to speak with our police chief on this uh, matter. Uh, in relation to having a direct relationship with our police commission uh, on that piece. As you know, at the assembly, at the AFN, it was brought up. Uh, and whereas we opposed that uh, resolution. Uh, and so uh, looking to, again, have that direct relationship. So uh, with this meeting uh, on the, uh, with the attorney general's office, uh, that's exactly, you know, one of the, one of the asks that the ministry asked is, uh, to uh, have a list of our concerns and how we see things or, or how or rather how we what we have issues with the process obviously we see with the with the collaborative table that there's to me a, a, a glaring issue with it, what it seems the province uh, basically dictating and directing that table uh, uh, which is exactly the reason why we went to the observer status uh, so we will be having further conversations with uh, our our police service uh, and, so, and again, how uh, we want to do this collaboratively and have that direct relationship uh, with the commission and so forth. I see Nathan has his hand raised. I'll pause there and go to Nathan. Yeah, just a quick question, Chief. If you can remind me, did we send a letter to AFN uh, on perspectives on the, um, the, the task force? Um, because I believe it was, we had Phil write that letter, right? From the commissioner, the police commission and, and did it go, I just can't remember if it went. Yes, yes, to my knowledge okay. and uh, to confirm, I'll just get, yes, it did. Perfect, thanks. And so we'll follow up on the, on the responses as well to uh, Nate, so that, that brings even a further good point in terms of just that response follow-up. 
Okay. Yeah, it was just the commission was asking. I just wanted to confirm that. Yeah. Okay. So we could do that. And Tammy, if, Tammy, if we could just make a note of that too, uh, in terms of the response follow up. Uh, I do see Jill on the line now as well. Uh, and Jill can assist me with this next item in terms of a, a verbal update. We attended the Iroquois caucus on Friday. Uh, it was a really, actually, a really good meeting. Uh, we were able to uh, get into some, some pretty uh, decent discussion in terms of next steps at the Iroquois caucus level. Uh, so maybe if I can, I'll just uh, pass it over to Jill just to begin. Uh, just a quick verbal update on that meeting and I will fill in any other items as well. So over to you, Jill. Oh, sorry, I just wanted to, can we get Jill? There might be some audio issues. I'm not sure if I'm the right Jill because I didn't go to a caucus meeting. I'm here for the in-camera oh, session. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I just seen Jill, so I assumed it was our Jill <laughs> Hill on our team. My apologies, that's no problem. Thanks, uh, thanks for that. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I can uh, speak to it anyways. Uh, again, there was a uh, there was a, a harvest working group update. There's going to be a number of items uh, in terms of representation that we'll look to. Uh, they have presented a communication plan uh, at the Iroquois caucus in terms of the structure uh, and what we want to see the caucus actually do. As we've talked about, we uh, here at council, uh, you know, in terms of the the strength that we would have in building more capacity within the Iroquois caucus. Uh, everyone agreed on the line, each community. Uh, we were able to talk a little bit about the financials as well. So we know with the work that needs to be completed, completed as well as building the further capacity at the office for the Iroquois caucus, uh, we know that finance is, is going to be a huge piece. So uh, looking to see, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be brought up at our next meeting uh, in terms of, you know, where do we want to look to these finances, financials? Uh, you know, so one community expressed, uh, you know, do we look to uh, uh, apply for government funding to further build capacity within? Uh, do we look to increasing the uh, contribution uh, per community uh, for funding attached to some of the items brought in? Uh, obviously, we know the radioactive waste working group, there was an update there as well. So we're looking to uh, those pieces as well as the harvest working group. Uh, the Algonquins of Ontario, the issues with the Métis, uh, the Federal Indian Day School Class Action Settlement, uh, as well as the banking issue. Uh, as you know, we've brought up uh, items multiple times in relation to banking. Uh, and so we were able to give an update in terms of that piece. I know it was unable, the resolution to the AFN wasn't tabled at the actual assembly due to, again, the long, uh, the awa long awaited resolutions that didn't get to the floor. However, there is still action uh, happening on the banking issue at the national level. So we're, we'll look to keep an update on that. Uh, but nonetheless, it was a really, really, really good meeting at the Iroquois caucus. Uh, we, uh, we want to, every community uh, is excited to see where we can go with the caucus and how that capacity and what it will look like and further in build. Uh, it's been good in terms of the structure we are, it's kind of a, a set up in terms of a technician table over to a chiefs and grand chiefs table, uh, where again, it's uh, the grand chiefs and chiefs table will be the, again, the decision-making uh, and the technician table will be able to support whatever direction or uh, whatever resolutions or motions are made at that table and level. Uh, so nonetheless, uh, we will uh, look to uh, look to continue uh, to attend the Iroquois caucus and bring back any further. Uh, there's going to be a number of items that will be brought back for council discussion and decisions. So we'll need to get uh, our decisions on some of these items. Like I mentioned, the radioactive uh, waste as well as the uh, harvest working group and the representation of those pieces. We had we had held off a bit because I know we're we're in discussion right now in terms of our structure internally here at council and how we're going to uh, move forward and progress. Uh, and so uh, again, that was, uh, that was the Iroquois caucus. Uh, there was even some, some talk in terms of uh, some of the, the legal issues uh, as well. Uh, and then we also went into uh, COVID updates, uh, just what's happening in the communities uh, with COVID as well. Nonetheless, there's so many similarities that we recognize amongst our Iroquois communities that we, in terms of the issues, 
uh, that we that they are having within uh, the different sectors and files within their communities. Um, so you know, we really feel uh, that this 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 direction that we're heading with the Iroquois Caucus is uh, really exciting, and we uh, can't wait. Uh, each community was to take back to their respective councils uh, this discussion pieces. So I'll have a written update as well as we'll need some decisions uh, decision points made at the next meeting. Uh, and we'll further update as we uh, as we move ahead here. So I'll just pause there and maybe see if there's any questions or comments in relation to any of the items brought up uh, on the verbal update. Mark, it's Hazel. Sorry, uh, over to you, Hazel. Yeah, um, I was not aware that there was an Iroquois caucus meeting on Friday. There was no emails that came in uh, getting invited to the meeting. So was that just the chiefs that were present at the Iroquois caucus meeting on that day? It, it was actually it was actually both. So if the, if the counselors were available uh, and it was sent out by Abraham, Abraham Francis, which is maybe why you maybe didn't see it. But I did see uh, your, your name on the email list, Hazel. And, oh, no, because he used to send them to me all the time. I didn't I didn't get a uh, request. Because I had brought okay. up the last time that I was on there with regard to looking into that Canada pension that was like Native people were not, not allowed to engage in from way back when it began. And they were going to put it on a next agenda. That's what Abram had said that time. Okay, uh, Mel, uh, I, oh, Mel, sorry, go ahead, Melba. Yeah, I too was not notified. Okay, sorry. What we'll do uh, from this point on is just uh, if, if for to follow up on on Abraham's as well as Tammy, our office will will notify you as well in advance. And actually, what we what we did discuss as well is setting up a, a schedule for the year so that we will know the dates, uh, you know, well in advance for the meetings. Mm -hmm. But in relation to your point, uh, Hazel, in relation to the Canada pension item. Uh, I can further follow up with Abraham and we can bring this back forward uh, because again, our goal is to meet more regularly. Uh, so I believe our next meeting is uh, scheduled for the beginning of March. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. Is there any further questions or comments? Okay, seeing or hearing that, so we'll we'll keep uh, we'll keep you abreast of 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 these uh, of these meetings being uh, scheduled. Uh, with the AG, as well as follow up with Haidu's office, as well as some of the, we're actually going to start uh, in terms of, I know Christopher and I uh, have had the opportunity to chat about the lobby days. So uh, obviously I know, um, you know, it would have been a lot uh, more, I think, enjoyable if we could do it in person. However, the way things are looking, uh, we may have to be looking to virtual uh, lobby days. So our goal date was for that was for in March. Um, and so we'll, we'll keep council updated in terms of, uh, you know, what meetings we can be uh, secured and with what ministries. Okay, council, so that's all I have for the open session of political liaison. Uh, I will look to, um, again, it's just a verbal political update. There will be some written updates as well as decisions that will need to be made on some of the items within the written report. So that will be forthcoming. Uh, that being said, I will look to a motion to adjourn the open session of political liaison. Is there a mover? I'll move it, Hazel. Moved by Hazel, seconder. I will. Seconder, adjournment, thank you. Michelle, all in favor? Any opposed? Seeing or hearing the motion is carried. Well, thank you all uh, for joining us uh, this morning at our political liaison meeting. Uh, we do have scheduled tomorrow our general council meeting, which will also be live streamed uh, for that agenda. So please uh, take care, stay safe, and have a great Monday.